Hello everyone and welcome to my very very first um, video review. Um, so as it's uh, very first for me, um, I don't really have the, <laughs> all the gear to produce something uh, maybe correct or interesting to watch. Um, so hang on and excuse my <laughs> excuse my French for the language. Maybe you'll have some troubles to to understand, but hopefully not. Uh, so I wanted to um, show you this little toothpick micro class uh, quadcopter from uh, Dayaton, uh, which is called the Cube. Um, uh, I have to admit that I received it as a gift from uh, Dayaton, so hope I won't be too biased on what I'm going to tell, but uh, spoiler, I guess not. Um, so, um, this little machine is quite interesting um, from two aspects, to my humble opinion. Um, first of all, the frame. The frame is, as you can see, uh, almost not there. It's very, very thin. It's, uh, it's it looks very fragile, but it is not. Um, the frame was designed with the Bob Rooki Kebab FPV. Most of uh, you probably know of him, uh, and I have to admit that I, I like a lot what he's doing. Uh, so I don't have um, uh, any fear <laughs> concerning this frame. Um, it's probably well adapted and well sufficiently robust for uh, this kind of setup. Um, it's 3 mm thick um, and is made of quasi-isotropic carbon fiber, if, I, if I'm correct. So even if it's very, very thin, it's still very, very robust and stiff. As you can see, I can push on it. It barely moves. Um, the other great things, it's um, all the stuff that is on the quadcopter, uh, all the Aten products uh, coming from the motors. This one is the, um, I guess, the smallest version. They they sell GTB 229 or something like that. I don't remember. Um, these are small Mamba 11 or 38K motors. Um, with a quite thick gauge wire, um, going to uh, 16 by 16 millimeter stack compound, uh, which is um, uh, based on three components. So basically, you have an ESC uh, flight controller and the VTX. Um, the VTX is a uh, Unify Nano Pro 32 from uh, Team Blackship, so it's one of the most uh, performant, uh, performant and small VTX right now. And the camera you have here is a uh, Rencam Nano 2, which is also a very good camera. So the gear that's on this machine is uh, on par with what we do on custom builds or other products like that. So it's very nice from a, a company to have something that is on par or in quality with, uh, with this kind of machine. Um, this one is... Uh, PNP kit, I guess, so it doesn't have a receiver. So I soldered uh, XM Plus that I have uh, laying around. And it's quite simple because you have uh, a connector that I removed um, that you can use to plug in a receiver like uh, RX. Uh, I guess the connector was some, uh, was in mind for uh, RXSR or something because it has uh, SBUS and PPM connectors. So I removed the useless stuff. And, um, and put my own. You also can notice here that the camera is connected with a connector, so it's maybe convenient to swap cameras and uh, put something else. Uh, you can uh, hopefully remove it if you want to 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 to, to gain some weight, so a few tens of, of a gram. 
um, what else can I say? Um, there are not only good uh, things about this machine. I'm gonna focus on that uh, just in a few moments. Um, it have a strap for the battery, but I added a um, battery pad underneath because uh, basically you can attach the battery, but it won't necessarily stay very good in place in case of a crash. So this is a good addition you can make. Other things that I don't really like, um, some of you know from Facebook that I'm not a huge fan of the, um, the 16 by 16 millimeter stack, not in a term of performance, but only because of the um, inconvenience to my opinion to, to service them and use them on this kind of build. If you look closely here, you can see that the USB port for programming uh, the, the quadcopter, the Dayton Cube, is um, heightened by the standoff you can have in front. It's not um, obligatory, mandatory to, to put it, but if you put it to gain strength in case of a crash or something, uh, the USB port wouldn't be reachable. So if you, you have to do your setups once and uh, say that you won't touch them on the field or something. Um, the other thing that I don't like on this format of stack is that it is um, it makes a very tall build. So if you look from the front, uh, you see that the stack goes till here, I guess. So you, you have one centimeter half, almost two centimeters of height that are not really very convenient. And in case of a crash, maybe that all the thing will blow up because you have standoffs and, and stuff like that. But um, it's not that important for now. Um, the other things that I'm not really a big fan of is the, the props, which are good. It looks like some kind of gem fan 65mm props. Um, on my setup, I changed the PIDs to, to something I'm more familiar with. Uh, and um, it flies quite shaky. It's not a big issue, but you can probably improve, uh, improve all this by using those props that come from uh, HQ, which are the 65 millimeters props, uh, B-blades, uh, which in my opinion are, are really, really good props. Coming from KK 65 millimeter, it's day and night, and uh, even better than the Who Cares or whatever you can find elsewhere or everywhere. So it would be a nice upgrade to just change the, the props. Um, except that uh, it flies really well, <coughs> which is um, which is a thing to to probably expect because it's uh, well built and uh, using good quality components uh, uh, setup. So it's on par with uh, with a good custom build, and it flies really, really, really well out of the box. You just have to throw in a battery. Um, I used uh, this kind of battery, 450 milliamps, uh, which is my go-to battery in most of my setups. Uh, you can use lighter one, like the 350 or something like that to gain a bit of weight. Um, I also changed the canopy because the one provided, which is here, um, is a version uh, that you may know from uh, from the internet. You maybe have already seen it somewhere else. Um, is full of mounting options for uh, two point five millimeter tubes, uh, crossfire mount, uh, and antenna mount on the rear, uh, which makes that it's um, quite heavy canopy. 2.6 grams, so I printed another one which is uh, way more simple. Uh, not the simplest one because it still have the, the antenna mouse for uh, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, but you can you can gain one gram with that. So it's a very easy, quick upgrade to, to, to save some weight because weight is important on this kind of machine. So more you add on it, but where more it, uh, the less it will fly very the, the less it will be agile um, we can make a quick um, way 
bit of this machine. So the, uh, if you see the scale, it's, uh, it's at zero. So if I put it on the scale, hopefully well enough, 49, uh, 49 grams. So it's not that light, in fact, but maybe my scale is not very well uh, set it up. 14, 49, 80, 49, 48, okay, around 48, 49. Um, what I'd like to do next uh, is to rebuild it uh, using my style of build, uh, which would imply to change the, um, the, 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 the stack to get lower lower profile and remove some components that are not uh, optimal in my point of view. Um, I also have to say that it comes, uh, the box is here, I use it for other, other stuff. It, it comes with a bag of, um, of parts and accessories which are quite nice to have. Uh, you have a buzzer that you can add on the on the on the quadcopter, you have the wire which goes with it to 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 solder it. You have an extra strap for the battery. You have zip ties. You have uh, standoffs, and you also have um, you have uh, some some screws for the standoffs, and you also have a set of uh, of screws for uh, uh, many uses on the on the build. So I guess you can use for motors, for for standoffs, for camera, for a lot of a lot of stuff, and the screws are really 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 nice with a little chamfer on the edges, uh, which makes them bright. So I love I love this a lot. So basically, you have a lot of parts to service and uh, improve uh, improve your build uh, provided. Um, I like to. To tell you as well that uh, one of the things that are not uh, very convenient convenient for me at least is that on this kind of frame, which is a, a big uh, a big cube, a big square, um, you can't use rubber bands to to secure your battery. So you have to to necessarily use uh, the battery strap or uh, set up a mount, a battery mount or something like that. Um, I'm also not a big fan of the, um, the, the battery mounted uh, directly this side. I prefer it uh, on, on sideways, toilet bowl, or I don't know how, how it's killed, uh, which, is big, fun, which is easy to do on this uh, frame because uh, you have to mount everything like that. So basically you can use the strap in the, in the other direction, but you will spend I guess a lot of time to do this modification because of the um, dampers on the uh, on the stack. You have to remove them carefully, put them back carefully. Don't crush the stack and uh, service your uh, your quad. Um, except that it's a very 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 nice little build, which you can buy directly uh, assembled, throw in a battery or throw in a battery and a receiver and, uh, and go to fly and have a lot of fun with it because it's very robust and very performant. So it's a nice, nice, nice little machine. Um, okay, see you maybe in the next video for a upgraded build of that. I'd like really to do, to do this because I feel and I think that uh, a build in my kind of build with this beautiful frame and motors uh, would be quite interesting. I prefer to have stuff low profile like this. So let's see how it comes out uh, next time. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> if you had the patience to, to stay here. Thanks a lot, Diaton, for sending me this little machine. Uh, and see you next time. Uh, hello, everybody.